Hey guys, it's me, Phoenix. We're going to do a general read to see where your energy is. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember red hearts if you made it through, purple hearts if it resonates, green hearts if you're working on it, and yellow hearts if you rock with me if you got my six meaning have my back. Um, Yeah, there you have it. This is what we're going to do. We're going to talk about the overall energy of this read. We're going to discuss the journey, and then we're going to find out the lesson that we have, and we're going to understand the lesson and the journey. Towards the end of the read, we're going to go ahead and pull from my crystal deck, which will focus on your chakras, which you need to either work on or heal with. And then at the end, we're going to let the negative energy go uh, by releasing it with my affirmation. Right now, what I see is the King of Pentacles, somebody who is either willing to do the work or you're the King of Pentacles energy um, that is somebody who is willing uh, willing to succeed, uh, who is very abundant and hardworking. And so I think that that could be the energy that you are focusing on is somebody who is willing to succeed because we also have the King of Pentacles here and we have the Knight of Wands with the Nine of Pentacles. So um, nine years. Oh, so let's just talk about this. Each, each pinnacle is equivalent to a year. We have the nine of pinnacles here. The nine of pinnacles is success, great love and reward. So doing the work, um, with the knight of pinnacles, somebody who is willing to succeed saying that there's no re rewards without risk, create opportunities. Don't be afraid to fail and invest your time wisely. And with the king of cups energy, it says only love, compassion, and understanding can truly bring you the happiness and tranquility that you seek. Here seems a man um, that is around the children, right, who is letting them be adventurous and that is not afraid to be loving and compassionate and understanding. So this is the energy that you want to be around. Reason being is that I see that with this card deck here, the King of Pentacles here is a person a man and a woman and then there's a man that's talking that maybe in the background there is a party going on that might be trying to see what it takes in order to um you know do the work and you know understand what risk uh being a family or understand what it takes to become a family or to be a family or this could be in regards to business um the knight of wands energy is my drake energy you only live once be bold be fearless do what you love well i'm not gonna be having lizards crawl on me but i will do what i love and i understand that i only live once my yolo energy the nine of pentacles this is to have your great six your success great love and reward so if you are you know with somebody who doesn't mind or you're waiting for someone to come home uh and you've had you have a meal prepared that's what it looks like she's looking out to see if somebody's coming home and the little gnomes here are have helped her prepare this meal. So maybe this is in regards to a family. And so with the Knight of Wands energy, you know, the person that is, yeah, look at this. So three cards come out at once. Yeah, the Five of Wands energy is conflict and competition when it comes to you uh, being in a situation. So conflict and competition when it comes to the situation, it's like maybe at work, it's hard for you. Maybe in the day-to-day -day struggle, it's hard. But when you come home, the memories, the blessings, the joy when it comes to your kids is why you do this. And this is the growth when it comes to you coming together, having kids, and this is a successful life that we all want. But for some reason, you know, you're questioning this to me or it's in question or this is you uh, you know, looking at things like I am happy when I come home because or I want to be happy when I come home because work is stressful, you know, work is stressful. Queen of Wands energy, confidence, you know, confidence shines from the inside when you love yourself on your flaws and rock them without caring what others think. So here it is. It's two ladies uh, standing next to each other. And, you know, it's just like this is the energy that you want to have when it comes to taking advice from people that understand and has gone through a situation ship or may know what it takes to have the two of wands energy, to be able to make plans, to travel, to have new ideas when it, and see things from a better perspective when it comes to love. So this is a situation to where it looks like everything is going to play out the way that you want it to. But you know, at the same time, this is what you want. You want a loving family. You don't want to be in conflict with anybody. You want somebody that is going to support you on your hard days and be confident in you and also 
be happy no matter the situation you find yourself in so right here and this is where you have to look at everything this lady is looking into some type of orb or crystal ball and trying to see where she has to where where she's going or which direction she's going in in order to be happy but at the end of the day when we come home we want a family we want a supportive life you we want somebody to support us with the queen of cups energy um, you know, be someone who makes everyone feel important, look them through their eyes and make them feel understood. Maybe this is what you want and what you're looking for. And it could happen. But again, you have to have confidence and you got to know what it takes to do the work in order to find the new, new ideas, the new beginnings and go from there, you know? And so all of this energy here, it's like nothing bad has come out besides work. Work is coming out like that's very stressful and that this is how you want to come home when you do either when you do decide to become, get in a relationship or when you do uh, when you come home in real life in reality. And if that's not the case, then, you know, you have to start looking at things in a different perspective. So that's just kind of how I see this energy. I'm going to go ahead and pull. Let me see. I'm going to pull from the twin flame. I haven't used this one in a while. Hold on. <clears throat> I'm going to pull from here. This is the messages from your beloved messages from your beloved. Um, and so this is what we all want at the end of the day. You know, we want to be able to have somebody who, who completes us, not deplete us. And that is where you're looking at when it comes to the directions, the new plans and the travel and the ideas, when it comes to what relationships should be about or what situationships should be about. You know, it's just like you want somebody that'll be supportive on a hard day or not even understanding what you went through, but just to be supportive. I want to hold you in my arms and feel our bodies unite as one. That's how you want that energy to be when you do get into a relationship. Communication, you want communication. You know, you want them to be able to give you romantic messages and tell you that they miss you and they love you. Neither one of us is being honest right now. Why are we afraid to express ourselves? And so that could be what you're facing because somebody may not know how to express themselves. But this is where, you know, the five cards of five conflict comes in at because you guys aren't expressing yourself or you could have been in a situation where the past this person or the person that you were dealing with didn't know how to express themselves. But this is her opening a letter up and it's like sad news for her. But there is always somebody that's supportive that the universe sends to support you that you don't even give a second look because they're not your like kind. Uh, romantic, romantic messages. I daydream about you. Sometimes it's sexual. Other times I visualize our future together. So that could be the person that the universe is sending to help you. Right. Because if she's crying over a letter, what could be in that letter that makes her so sad? And then all of these other things about, uh, you know, her being tough and the family being here. But this is the same guy that's here. So maybe this is the person how this is how you see life. This is the same guy here and this is the same girl here. So if you guys learn to communicate. The perfect relationship is that, but there is no such thing as perfect. So it only comes with you working on yourselves and working on the things that you really and truly want, you know, out of life. And so that's just kind of how I see that energy. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and look at the bottom of the deck. So if this is what you want, yeah, telepath, I feel your energy around me and I wonder, are you thinking about of me too? So maybe this is a situation that you want with your person and for some reason, your person might not, you know, know how to communicate, but this is why you're looking at and reflecting on what the future will be like. But the purpose of this energy is to understand that we don't know what the future holds. We don't know what the future holds, but all we can do is work on ourselves. That's why the King of Wands, excuse me, the King of Pentacles comes out saying that there's no reward without risk, create opportunities and um, excuse me, create opportunities and don't be afraid to fail and invest your time wisely because we do that time and time and again. And that's the reason why, you know, we're always investing our time, nine of pentacles, nine years. It could take for us to really realize that the person that we are waiting on might not be the one that we really want. It could be the one that comes to our rescue at times uh, of our need. And so at some point, if this is what you want, you got to look at everything and you got to manifest the things and actually work on yourself and be in your Drake energy. You only live once, be bold, be fearless, do what you love. And sometimes the person that's closer to you is the person that's understanding and loving towards you. And that's where this energy is coming out at, you know, because they're supporting you 
uh, throughout everything on the rough days, on the, on the happy days. And even when work is stressful, you know, when there's deadlines that you have to be, that have to be met. But if you don't communicate, if you don't still give romantic messages, if you still don't, uh, you know, uh, love each other in both the three and the five D then, you know, then it, it'll never really work. So that is where the universe is saying, take the risk, do the work, show up for yourself. And then that person will always show up for you hopefully and if not if it's not the person that you want it to be then the universe will send somebody your your like kind so that could be the re message that you need to do the work all right you guys let's go ahead and pull from the affirm uh, excuse me from our crystal deck get a crystal and then we'll go ahead and let this energy go we have the moonstone and the garnet it says sorry the moonstone excuse me the moonstone is the goddess energy inspiration and intuition the crown, third eye, and sacral chakra. So your crown chakra is your spirituality, your selflessness, and your wisdom. Your third eye chakra is your intuition, your perception, and your understanding. And your sacral chakra is your emotions, your intimacy, and the confidence. And it says, I allow my true inner self to shine through. I allow my true inner self to shine through. So be who you are. Don't let anybody change you. Don't don't change for anyone. You be yourself. And that that person that comes around you will love you for who you are. The garnet is commitment, loyalty, and love. This deals with your root, your sacral, and your heart chakras. So your root chakra is your ability to survive, to be stable, and ground yourself. Your sacral chakra, again, is your emotions, your intimacy, and your confidence. And your heart chakra is your ability to love, harmony, be harmonious, and forgive. And it says, I, I am loyal to myself and to others. You are, but when loyalty uh, is, becomes toxic, then you have to rethink things. So only be loyal to the people who are loyal to you. And also give to the people who give to you. And everyone else, you have to just kind of somehow let them fall to the wayside. But you got to do the work and you, gotta, you cannot be afraid to take risk. So that is what the message will be. Let's go ahead and let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack doubt hate negativity procrastination stagnation sadness generational curses debt bad energies heartbreak bad health and addictions remember addictions can be to a person place thing or a situation i love you guys